There's no if, ands, or buts about it. It looks like Chanel. Oh my gosh, are you guys in for a treat today? So glad to have you guys back today. I love today's video. I've done this several times before. We are doing look expensive on a budget. There are unbelievable pieces to show you, so let's just jump right in. Now, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, why are you showing us how to look expensive on a budget when you're wearing Saint Laurent? But here's the thing, it's not Saint Laurent. And I just, I can't even, I really can't even. Now, here's the part where we do the lookbook. This is the lookbook portion of today's video. If you want, you may skip ahead, but there is gonna be kind of like a lookbook throughout this whole video because I'm showing you examples of getting the look for less. And it's starting right now because today's video is brought to you by Urban Revivo. Now, I did not know that it was pronounced Revivo and I've been calling it Revivo all this time, so please excuse that. It's Urban Revivo. <laughs> I think this might be one of my favorites we've done yet. So listen, you guys, when it comes to fashion, your fashion mom knows what time it is. Now, the jacket blazer game happening right now, <sighs> we're gonna start strong with what I'm wearing, which looks so much to me like Saint Laurent. It's the cut, it's the crop, it's the white cuffs. It's so beautiful and you can style it so many different ways. Casual with jeans, elegant like the way I'm wearing it right now, just so cool and stylish. Now, I've talked about these sweaters countless times because they are my favorite. They look like Alessandra Rich, which again, today's video is look expensive on a budget. Alessandra Rich is like 1,500 to 2,000 bucks for a piece like this. Absolutely gorgeous, so bougie looking. I love these, I have them in multiple colors. I wear them all the time. Now let's talk jackets. The cut of these are so Celine. I know the difference between a Chanel blazer, a Saint Laurent blazer, a Celine blazer. This is giving so much Celine. I just can't believe that Urban Revivo is making such affordable blazers that look like they're three or four thousand dollars, literally. If this is not expensive and sophisticated looking, I don't know what is because you do not need to spend $3,500 on a blazer when you can literally get this from Urban Revivo. Again, another Celine cut and Celine look. Celine actually did pink this season and this is giving so much. Celine. Like, I could totally wear this and go to a high fashion event and people would think this was Celine. This literally looks like Celine. I, I don't know what to tell you. Now this, this is Chanel. I'm telling you. I know Chanel very well. I have a lot of Chanel ready to wear. I don't mean to brag, but I got a lot of Chanel. But I also got a lot of Urban Revivo. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. It doesn't look like a good option for Chanel, doesn't look like a Chanel dupe. It looks like Chanel. It looks like Chanel. Absolutely go gorgeous. I know, I'm passionate because like I said, guys, like I love fashion so much. I know fashion and I got you. And then of course, I really got to talk bottoms. High-waisted, relaxed fit, split hem at the bottom, great fit, very pleasantly surprised with these ones. Did somebody say Barbie core? How cute is the styling with the pink shoes and the white crop top? What a look. That is a look, love. Now when I opened my Urban Revival package and I pulled this skirt out, I was really excited and I was really excited to show you this because I actually have the high-end version of this skirt. I have the Prada skirt. It's like the same shade of gray too. What I love about this, which is different from the Prada, is that it's a bit longer. Love it with the blazer. Love it with the cute cardigan. Very stylish, very what's happening in fashion right now. Now this jacket I love because this could be very stylish and very ski core as well, which is a style and aesthetic on its own. Now, I didn't style this ski core at all, but picture it, you know what I mean? Picture this après ski. You know, a pair of boots, a cool black beanie, a turtleneck, and this. So good, so good, but also so good with the beret. Yes, we love. 
Okay, but on the topic of ski core, another sweater I was excited about was this because it's a little different from those other very feminine and gorgeous cardigans that I showed you, but still really cool and stylish. Like this is very Marant-esque to me, you know? It gives me a little Marant. It gives me ski core. Like I would absolutely wear this in ski country. I pray ski, you know, going to the lodge, going to the restaurant. I love that stuff. Like I love that. Like I don't love winter, but if I'm gonna have to do winter, I'm gonna do ski core. Now, as always guys, I will list everything down below for you and my discount code for Urban Revival. Make sure to click the link in the description box below, but keep in mind, that my link is actually only valid for one week after this video. So if there are pieces that you love, make sure you click the link down below and get yourself a couple of these gorgeous, gorgeous, super fashionable pieces that are so affordable. All right, looking expensive on a budget. Now, I already showed you some sick pieces that look really, really expensive. Every single piece that I've shown you so far looks really expensive and is really affordable. But I really wanna start with really sleek and clean silhouettes, classic aesthetics that are not too trendy because these are looks that always look chic and elegant, sophisticated and expensive. Now, I wanna specify that looking expensive is not all about like looking dainty and feminine and quiet and simple. You can be colorful, you can be sexy, you can be all of the things and still look expensive. If there's a lot of gray areas in your mind, this is just like a guide to help you and just some points. We could do a part two and a part three because there are so many cool ways to look expensive. But for today, I really wanna start with the first point of clean classic silhouettes because these are easy to find. Everybody has something classic in their closet, whether it's just a simple top, a pair of black slacks, a classic pointy or almond toe shoe. These are things that are classic that always remain in fashion, that look chic, that look expensive, that look current. A lot of these pieces that I'm showing you today are things I've had in my closet for years and I'll continue to have them for years because they're chic and they never go out of style. And that's a really, really key point I wanna talk about today because when we're over the top trendy and we're always trying to get that in-trend look, sometimes it can look cheap, especially when we're getting all these pieces from here and there, trying to emulate what we're seeing on the runway. It doesn't always translate. Keeping it classic, you're going to get that look without dropping a ton of cash. Next for today, let's talk about layering. Layering is something that can be very stylish and also very classic. Now classic doesn't always mean stylish and stylish doesn't always mean classic but the two definitely can work hand in hand. Layering again is just a very easy way to look expensive on a budget. Again not a lot of money needed for this. Got a white button down and a blazer you're good to go. Throw it on. Add the blazer to elevate your look. It's visually stimulating. It's interesting to look at. It looks like you got style but it looks like you also know what time it is when it comes to fashion, it's a really easy way to be stylish and look expensive. Next we have monochrome. Now we've talked about this a lot, we really have, but monochrome is not just what you would expect. Now I am going to show you an example of like an all cream, a winter white kind of look because I find this super elegant, classy, and gorgeous. And there's no labels on anything, right? You don't need the labels to look expensive, to look chic. You have no idea where this outfit is from, but to me, it really does look expensive. I think this is pretty much one of the top points you could ever keep in mind when wanting to look expensive, sticking to one color, particularly, I gotta say, okay, there's monochrome black, there's monochrome white, there's monochrome neutral, which, you know, cream would fall into that grays, khakis, greens, you know what I mean? But there's something about a cream and a winter white, an off-white, like just in that cream family, all right, that is just the most sophisticated, the most chic, the most expensive looking to me. I don't know what it is, like a creamy, chunky knit sweater with a pair of like beautiful studs. Again, don't have to be expensive, but just that cream monochrome to me is just such a look. I find it very expensive looking and a very easy look to accomplish. And you definitely get that look as well in an all black look. There's a lot of ways to go with this, even black and white, which are not the same, but considered in the monochromatic family. Black and white is still pretty monochrome, both really not colorful, just 
two shades working together, you know, in holy matrimony. So we love a black and a white. We love a cream. We love an all black. The world is your oyster with this. You are going to look top notch. Next we have, and specifically for the fall winter months coming up, a trench coat, right? Because there's different ways to look expensive in different seasons. And a trench coat is going to give you that super chic expensive look. You do not, I repeat, do not have to spend a lot of money on this. You can spend very little on this in fact, because I've seen gorgeous trench coats at like H&M, for $19.99, I swear to God. Perhaps it was on the sale rack, but I was like, wow, this looks beautiful. This looks stylish and classic as well. This is a very easy way very easy way to look expensive on a budget because there are so many price points when it comes to trench coats. Different styles, there's shorter trench coats, there's longer trench coats, there's khakis, brown, black, pink as I'm showing you here today. There are so many beautiful options at so many different price points. I honestly think you can't go wrong with this. I think you can get a super, super cheap and affordable trench coat and make it look like a million bucks. Throw on a turtleneck, a pair of fitted jeans, a pump or a cute boot, you're good to go. Next, let's talk about designer dupes. Now, when I talk about designer dupes, I'm not talking about replicas of designer items. I'm talking about really getting the look for less. Now, some of the pieces that I've shown you here today, especially by Urban Revivo, are actually more than getting the look for less because they look like designer. They look expensive. You're just winning with some of these pieces, truly, because they really are affordable and they really do look expensive. Another really great example is like a shoe, a popular shoe that's like an it shoe of the item, like we've talked about the Versace the Valentinos and you know affordable shoe companies like Steve Madden are really doing a great job on getting that look for less because again they're not replicas but they look very very similar and from afar you really really can't tell you're getting that look it's so much more affordable and I have both options and I think they're so so great and I wear both options which is really how I define my style. I would say like I definitely lean a little more towards luxury fashion. You know, probably know that by now about me, but I always add in affordable things. I can't have everything. I can't have all the designer things, right? I definitely have to fit in some affordable fashion in there. And sometimes the best route is just not buying anything at all. You don't have to have everything. That's something I say in like almost all my videos. You really don't have to jump on every trend. You don't have to have everything. So sometimes I'm just like, no, I don't need it. But if there is a trend you're lusting after that you're really loving and you don't want to drop $1,500 on, you can definitely find a designer dupe, whether it's an Alessandra Rich cardigan, a Chanel jacket, a Celine blazer, a pair of Valentino shoes. There is a good designer dupe out there for you. And this is a really great way to get the look and still look very chic and expensive. And last for today, I was thinking about whether putting this on the list, but I decided, yeah, I'm gonna put it on the list, but take it with a grain of salt, okay? Less skin, more structure. Now listen, I love showing skin. I think dressing sexy is beautiful. I think there's a time and a place for everything. Well, maybe not everything, but there's a time and a place to look sexy. There's a time and a place to show more skin. If we're talking about every day, day to day, I think less skin, more structure in your outfits is going to give you that expensive look. You know, you're not gonna go to school pickup in a pair of booty shorts and a corset. You know what I'm saying? It's just not the vibe, it's not gonna work. But if you wanna wear that to the club, that makes sense, you know what I mean? Time and a place. However, going about your daily life, this is very, very easy to do. Now I am showing you examples that might be a little more fancy. You know, you're not gonna go to the grocery store in a structured black and white getup, right? But this is giving you ideas on getting that look. You can dress this down with the same look, make it really casual, a t-shirt and a blazer with a pair of leggings, super comfortable, or a pair of jeans. And it's stylish and it gives you that structure, right? It looks like you put yourself together. It looks like you put effort 
into what you put on. Now, a lot of the things that I'm showing you here today kind of cross over from point to point, right? Layering, structure, classic silhouettes, these all kind of cross over into each point. So they're really good and relevant and really, really good rules to live by. But you know, I will say there are so many fashion rules I don't follow. So you always got to do what's right for you, what works for you and your personal style. So I really hope you enjoyed these tips today. I loved making this video because I love getting dressed for you and showing you some fashion and how I put it together. And I have so many more videos like this to come. If you love this video, make sure you give me a like. Let me know what you think down below because you guys know I love hearing from you guys. And I'll be back really soon with another really fabulous video. And I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now.